everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is the weekday mass for Wednesday, April the 1st. And uh, we would like to invite you, if you're viewing it live, or even if you're not, after it's posted to the website, to the, to the Facebook page, if you'd like to have any prayer intentions that you would like to uh, have for this Mass, just enter the prayer intentions in the comments. Uh, one prayer intention that I have is we have uh, Deacon Robert today is celebrating his birthday, and uh, I think he was telling me that his mom and dad didn't know if they were going to have a boy or a girl, and they were hoping for a girl, but uh, <laughs> they had April Fool. They got April Fool. So uh, we thank God for Deacon Robert and his ministry to us here at Holy Cross. Uh, so we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's pause and examine our conscience and ask Jesus for his pardon and his peace. You raise us to new life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I have set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I have made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, the flute, the lyre, the harp, the psaltery, or the bagpipe, and all other musical instruments, otherwise you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, there is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from this white hot furnace and from your hands, O okay, King, may he save us. But even if he will not, know, O okay, King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual, and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Why do, did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered, but he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angels to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all the ages. 
Glory and praise, praise, praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise, praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look upon and into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham, and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Anyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. Know that you are a descendant of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me, because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this, but you are doing the works of the father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one Father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would love him. For I came from God and am here. But I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Good afternoon. In ancient cultures, even the Romans celebrated New Year's Day on April 1st, which closely you know, follows the vernal equinox, the two moments of the year when the sun is exactly above the equator and day and night are of equal length. In medieval times, much of Europe celebrated March 25th as the Feast of the Assumption, the Assumption, the Annunciation, excuse me, as the beginning of the year. And in 15, uh, 1852, Pope Gregory XIII ordered a new calendar, the Gregorian calendar, to replace the old Julian calendar. The new, the new calendar called for the new year to be on January 1st. Communication being what it was in those days, many people did not receive the news of the new calendar for several years. And others refused to accept the new calendar and continued to celebrate New Year's Day on April 1st. Those backward folks were labeled as fools and were subject to ridicule and made fun of in the butt of jokes. Mark Twain said, The first of April is the day that we remember what we are the other 364 days of the year. 
I think that's important, especially in the, in the view of the verse 36 in today's John's Gospel, which reads, If the Son frees you, if the Son frees you, you will be truly free. Throughout history, Israel had been enslaved by one foreign nation and the other. And in time of Jesus, they were subject to the Roman Empire. And Jesus said that if people really live by his words, they would be freed from the oppression of sin. Thinking that Jesus meant a political freedom, his enemies boasted that they had never been subject to anyone. What they were saying was, no one ever tells us how to worship, even though we've been in bondage to another country. They've always been allowed to worship their God the way they wanted to. As sons of Abraham, they thought that no liberator was needed. Jesus told them that their ancestral heritage did not make one a child of Abraham. True believers, those who follow Abraham's example of faith, trust in God. Unbelievers were those who were enslaved to sin. And Jesus said that if people really knew God as their father, they would be set free and that they would continue to be in the hands of God. God is the source of all truth. And the closer we listen to God's word, the more we grow in that knowledge and love of him, the more we grow in the wisdom of his truth, and the more we are free from sin. It frees us from ignorance and fear. Is there a sin in your life today that is holding you in bondage? Is there anything holding you in bondage, especially today with this worldwide crisis? I too find myself bonded to the TV, looking for the, the news, and oftentimes feel so, so upset that I let the, the noise of the world get my own attitude down. I find myself not busy about things that I should be reading or things I could be doing, but sit there and just kind of blue day about what life is for us. Even though it's not a sin, we're still in a bondage of this crisis. But today's message, Jesus will set us free. Today's message, Jesus says, he will free us from everything that enslaves us. May our God be blessed. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Your goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands that have become for us the bread of life. Let's listen to God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Your goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let's listen to God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Praise, Praise and glory of His name. For our good and good of all of His holy church. Receive back, O Lord, the sacrificial offerings which you have given, which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Be with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We are lifting them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, 
Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast, with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, in participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led by the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. History of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. They praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and far by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the whole Tim who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Be with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and let's continue to lift one another up in prayer, especially those on the front lines uh, that are really doing some beautiful work to serve the community and the nation and the whole world. Uh, may God's blessing and protection be on them. Love you.